everyone, this is Justin with Justin Osborne Photography. Um, I just got, well, I've had the A7, but I just uh, downloaded the Capture One software. Um, so that way, when I take a picture, say in here, take, I'm taking a portrait of someone, um, I can see it live on my computer. Um, and I had some difficulties trying to get it to work, so I figured um, I would show a little video of how I ended up doing it. Sony A7, uh, it, the Capture One software will work with the RAW files, so basically you can import your RAW files into Capture One um, and then you can edit them. But it doesn't support the tethering. So what they have is they have like a hot folder to where basically um, over here on this side, um, you can see I just created a, a small little one which has no images in it. And then for the A7, you can download the remote uh, camera control which basically is excellent because if I'm sitting here um, I can just I can change the ISO just by clicking this I can select the aperture change it up and down whatever I want to do same thing with the shutter speed do all that jazz um, you just have to make sure you have the right folder selected so if I click on YouTube video oops the step so basically that's what it does is it shows it right there um, what you can also do is right here when you right click set as capture folder um, so that way when you capture the, the thing it goes automatically into here up here you have um, you have to make sure you have hot folder enabled so when that happens is basically when you take the picture um, it knows to take it from this and not the camera because if you have it come from the camera it's not going to work um, So when you take the picture, you'll see it pop up right there. The only issue that I'm having is it doesn't automatically select the most recent photo. So I have to select it myself, and then I can go back and forth. Because when I have it, if you have it set up here, when you have a camera connected, you can set it to when the image is ready. So where basically it takes it, it does a little bit of processing. Where if you have, if you have a preset or something like that, once it's ready with that then it'll pop up and it'll automatically select it immediately just I mean come on it, it's gonna select it the right way when you take it I have those selected I take the picture and it doesn't automatically select it I have to use the arrow key and go over um, to view them um, so this is a short video that's basically it uh, it saves it all to that folder so if um, if you opened up that folder you have those three photos right here so, so it saves it in um, in your hard drive wherever you have it saved to and it saves it to this and then you have um, the move tool the crop tool this is the peaking tools where you can take it and then hover around whatever you hover over it's going to show whether or not if you're trying to get something tacked focus um, different stuff like that so capture one definitely want to check it out it's by phase one um, the big cameras not big but um, but yeah, their software is great. So uh, I haven't figured out how to do it with uh, Lightroom yet. Someone said there's a there's a similar way. I just haven't figured it out yet. But if you're looking for something right now, they have uh, I believe a 60 day um, trial for the Capture One software. So it will work with the Sony A7. You just have to go through the back way and use the hot folders. Little minor thing. I can't select it right away, but I mean that's that's something minor. Um, so any questions? Comment below. Like the video, subscribe. Till next time, see you.